young journalists, my name's Charlotte and today we're at the West Grantham Academy setting up for the solar eclipse. It's nearly 10 to 9 and behind we, we have some students setting up. I'm here this morning with Cara, another young journalist, and we're looking at how to view the eclipse. Okay, so we made this really basic pinhole camera by looking at the BBC website and they told us how to do it. And basically it, it projects what we see through this hole so it doesn't hurt our eyes. Yeah. So what are you expecting to see today? Hoping that the sun will actually disappear and it will go really cold and it will be weird. <laughs> it's 13 minutes past nine and the anticipation is high. As you can see behind me, groups of scientists coming out and Mr Hulse showing them how to view the eclipse. I'm here with Mr Hulse, the school science teacher. So what exactly are you expecting today? Uh, what we're expecting is the uh, the moon should actually start to, we call it a transition, so it should start to go across the sun uh, and block out quite a lot of the sun. So we're doing a few little experiments. We're measuring, first of all, the temperature. We would expect the temperature to drop if there was less sun. We're also going to be looking at the birds to see how they start to behave because sometimes they start to think it's night time. They start to think it's time for them to go to sleep. And what you can see a lot of them doing is viewing the... It's actually a partial eclipse here. The, the best place to watch the total solar eclipse was up in the Faroe Islands. Um, but we're making improvised pinhole projectors basically so this is probably the best way but well, is the best way to safely look at the sun without burning your eyes thank you very much <laughs> it's 9 31 and we're due the eclipse in about two minutes it's definitely getting colder and it's getting a lot darker well it didn't quite get as dark as we thought it but some of the team got some really good photos so we're going to go back now and have a look at the footage this is charlotte reporting from the solar eclipse